Hello everybody, how are you doing? Hopefully everybody's doing good. Hey Tragic, Brian, JJ, uh, Booga, Angry Rabbit, Carson, Dawson, Bryce, Somewhat Smart, uh, Riley, Skunk, Cole, Jordan, Drew, Steven, Jay Burn, Peyton, Norwegian Hunter, how's everybody doing? Hey Zyphon, how's it going? How is everybody doing? We have quite the video in store for today. Something that I've never done finally happened. So, I'll let you guys uh, guess what it could be. I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but it's uh, pretty exciting. I'll tell you guys that. I know we're not gonna be diamond stacking today. We're just gonna shoot them as we find them. Going back to just the normal hunting, because I feel like I get better stuff that way. I don't know, the diamond stacking didn't really produce anything crazy. So we're just gonna hunt them like normal today. Hey, Bucket Bros, it's been good. It's been good. No, I have not got the black one great, uh, the black bear great one yet. Gosh, I can't even speak. I have not got the black bear great one yet. Unfortunately. But to be fair, I haven't really been grinding them at all. So, yeah, I don't really expect to get it anytime soon. I've been taking a break from it because it's just not been fun. Yeah, exactly, Caitlin. We're already blasting Red Deer. And we're already having Flinglish because I am legit mixing up my sentences already. Let's see if we can bag a giant today. Now the question is, what do you guys think we will get today? Are we going to get ourselves just some normal diamonds? Are we going to find a super rare? Are we going to get a great one? Are we going to find like some regular rares? What do you guys think? What's in store for us today? I'm going to predict that for the first time in a while, we're going to get a rare. I'm calling it. We're going to get ourselves an albino. I hope. A 270 plus. A great one. Jeez, Zyphon, that's crazy, dude. I mean, yeah, it's definitely possible. You know, a while ago, I would have been like, yeah, there's no way. But, uh, I totally believe that now. Alright, so what do we even have here? I don't see the third stag. There's typically three here. And, uh, we clearly don't have three in front of us, so... We might need to... Come back here later. A legendary melanistic? I hope so. Um, I guess it depends, Hunter Smith. Are you, uh... Like, how many lakes are you hunting? Are you consistently getting lots of, like, sixes, sevens, and eights? Because if you're doing the herd management properly, you should be seeing giants everywhere. You should have a few areas that are just small ones, and then the rest of the, the map should be big ones. Like, I've got a few lakes that I don't even hunt anymore because it's all fours. Wait, really, Zyphon? None of them were stacked? That's insane, then. If somebody got that many without stacking them, that's crazy. Uh, no, Norwegian Hunter. It's actually cheaper to change in the tent than it is the outpost. Thank you, Cammy. I'm glad that you enjoy them. Super happy that you enjoy the videos. Oh no, Hudson, that's unfortunate, dude. 
That's unfortunate, man. For the most part, this area has not really had anything to shoot recently, except for one stag over here. So at this point, I really only need to check on this left side. And provided it stays like that, I might move some tents around. There's definitely some tents I could possibly move to other areas. Yeah, this guy is just kind of chilling in a terrible spot. Uh, we can maybe fast travel over here and get him. Gotcha, Hunter Smith. Okay. Um, what I would maybe recommend doing then is try hunting a couple lakes that you don't normally hunt and start doing the uh, five and above for that lake as well. And maybe eventually you'll get it to a point where there's enough, uh, Enough of them being taken each run to get things going the way that it is for me. Because I do feel like part of it might just be like, you need a certain number of them. Come on, buddy. Might have to butt shot him. Ooh, talk about threading the needle. Though we didn't really get vital, so... That's unfortunate. Ah! Uh, I mean, both those shots hit. Not the greatest hits in the world, but I think he'll go down. Hey, Smash, how's it going, dude? I'm doing good, Sinaldo. I'm doing good. Uh, no, Flip. It's not a rare. They are cool looking, though. Whoa, there's another one here? What? Another shooter here? That's a first. Typically, it's only one shooter at this lake. Interesting. Or I guess this zone, I should say. Typically, this zone is just one shooter. Very, very interesting. Nice, Anthony. That's awesome, dude. Ah, uh, no, see, and I haven't been doing any waterfowl hunting. It's just been red deer for me. And then, uh, a couple other... What the... Oh my gosh, we literally deleted every check. Improper ammo, shot three times, hit it in the head, and missed vitals. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever missed everything. I think that's the first time I've ever missed all the checks. That is crazy. <laughs> that poor thing. Absolutely obliterated. Yes, definitely perfect. That was a perfect uh, attempt at taking him down. We did exactly what we needed to do to get him on the ground, and that is all that matters. <laughs> it really is, Sam. I don't think I've done that before. Uh, not sure, Brendan. Not sure. Most likely once I either get a super rare or a great one red deer. Like I mentioned the last few streams, I just needed a break from the black bear. Because it's not the most enjoyable grind. Need to do it to a legendary now? Ooh. That would be uh, quite unfortunate. I don't think I'll do it to a, le a legendary, but... We definitely did it to that level 7. Oh gosh, Carson. 111, jeez. No, I didn't, Sam. Did you end up getting one? That's crazy, dude. That is crazy lucky.
Got a few uh, nice stags over there. Well, Ares, if I'm not going to enjoy the grind, I'm not going to stream it. That's why we're not doing Black Bear. Because I don't enjoy it right now. And if I'm not enjoying something, it's not going to be an enjoyable experience to watch it either. I know for a fact a lot of people would rather me play something that I actually enjoy than streaming something just to stream it. Like, I'm not going to stream black bear hunting just because it's the, the current craze. If I'm not enjoying the black bear grind, I'm going to stream something that I'm enjoying because the vast majority of people would rather see me hunting something I actually enjoy. Because if I'm enjoying it, it's going to be a better stream in general. Nobody wants to see me getting frustrated at the black bear for three hours straight. Um, I would say probably either the 303 or the 308 uh, faded. Those are the ones that I would probably go with if you're looking to get full uh, medals on them. Yeah, Ares, maybe at some point. It's just a matter of, like, when I feel like doing it again. Because, like, it, it was quite a... I think, honestly, my problem was I grinded them too hard for the first week. And lost all the enjoyment out of it. Ooh, there we go. There's a level 9. And lots of mythicals. So that's our first level 9 of the day. Alright, later, Cammy. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, Ares, um, we'll do it at some point. Like, we will get back to it at some point. I've been doing it off and on, just off camera. But because I grinded them so hard the first week and a half, I burned myself out very quickly. But we'll get back to it eventually. Like I said, whenever we get a super rare or a great one from this grind, then we 100% will go back to it. But we might go back at some point before then as well. Uh, Riptide, thank you for the six months, dude. Have I missed anything? Also, my grind is starting decent three level nines and probably 15 level eights. I'll respawn for a few hours of the grind. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Sounds like everything is starting to pick up for you. This is a nice looking group right now. All right, let's see. Can we get this shot? I am using the 303 for taking diamonds from now on because the 308 has been very weird. Uh, Jordan Jensen, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Scare Crew. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use your man's access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to buy scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, dude. Hope you've been doing great. Nice, Fox. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take this guy down. Should be a solid hit into him. Looked like it was probably pretty good at least. Yeah, there he goes. He's going down. Well, I'm kind of curious how those missed, but I assume it's just because he darted out of the way. He should calm down soon, though. Actually, he's already calmed down. There we go. Getting lots of uh, solid hits on them now. There should be one more, I think, over there. I think we had one more. Yeah, this little dude. Ooh. Did he go out of render or did we drop him? I can't even tell. I think he went out of render. Yeah, Hudson, that is a lot of big ones. Very good group of red deer over here.
227, not bad. Very solid. Here's that diamond. How big are you, sir? Are you a nice one? 264 max weight. Not bad. Not bad at all. Already starting out with a max weight stag. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Hey, Archie, how's it going? Yeah, the emotes look good. Everybody's been loving the floater emote. Yesterday, that floater emote was getting uh, spammed in chat like all day. Great one, near. I hope so. I sure hope so. Would be nice. Two twenty-seven again. Not bad. Two big stags. Two big level eights. Uh, another big level eight right here. <laughs> I'm glad to see that everybody in li likes the new uh, emotes. How are you getting so many diamonds? Herd management, Columbia. Herd management. Essentially, what we're doing is shooting level fives and above. We leave every level three, two, and four. No matter how many there is on the map, we always leave a four and below. Uh, the real Rexy, welcome back, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my private channels on the. Or I already said that. And access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Um, when did I shoot her? When? <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Ama amazing. Uh, yes, herd management would be only shooting fives and above. And there's various different ways you can do herd management. And technically, herd management just means that you're managing your herds to be a specific way. But the way that I do is, is I shoot the fives and above, and no matter how many fours show up on my map, I don't shoot them. No matter what. No matter what, I do not shoot fours, threes, or twos. Even if I've got an entire lake that's just them. Which I do. There's, uh, this lake right here is literally just fours now. There's like 20 fours. So I've just removed that lake from my grind. And kind of the theory is that there's some type of balancing system in Call of the Wild. Some type of system that balances what's on your map. And it seems like when you leave a lot of small ones, it like triggers the game to be like, oh, there's a bunch of small ones. We better spawn some big ones. And so that's kind of the theory behind herd management. That's what the original theory was when Flinter and Jaxiebeard started doing herd management back in, what was it, like 2019? Something around that time. And then it's kind of just been improved over the years. People have figured out more about what can be done to... Get the herds to produce giants like this. And it really does seem like right now the best is to just shoot fives and above with the red deer. And there's definitely a lot of things that will change over your grind. Like I've had to remove so many lakes from my grind and add new ones. And honestly at this point I'm thinking about removing this lake from my grind completely. Because as of now Pukimaro Lake... Only has two stags that I can kill each time. Uh, this zone is all fours. So is this one and this one. This is the only zone that even has shooters in it. And typically they're just sixes or sevens. So I'm thinking of completely removing this lake from my grind. And honestly that would be good for us because it would free up a bunch of tents that I could use at other lakes. Because I definitely think I should focus more on this lake. It still has a ton of stags. Bro is clickbaiting. He says he has 122 diamonds, but he has 123. <gasps> You're right, Nash. You're right. You got me. We got the 123. Yeah, Dynamic. I would definitely recommend that. It seems to be working very well for me.
No, get back here. You're the one that I wanted the most. My favorite rack for mythicals. Well, we missed him. He's gonna run quite a ways, but he will go down. Didn't realize that if you don't claim the harvest, they respond the same. Ah, uh, they don't, uh, priorities. They will come back as something different if you don't pick it up. I still recommend picking everything up because it seems like you get things back to your zones faster that way. Oh, I would definitely recommend it, Duo. Uh, tripods are a huge part of a grind. Uh, yeah, Johnny, I've been hearing the hotfix came out as well. Apparently, it was just to address some crashes. So, there wasn't anything major in it. It was just a crash fix. So, apparently, the crashes should be uh, fixed now. Which would be great. I haven't got a chance to really, like, uh, notice any difference. Because, I mean, I just started playing when we started streaming. Yeah, hopefully, Johnny, that would be good. I think if Tiawaroi is crashing less for everybody, we're going to see a lot more people playing it. Uh, just one today, Tuck. Just one level 9 today. But uh, we've just started, so there's plenty of time to get more. Imagine, Sam. That would be amazing. If they just randomly added a new one. Uh, yes, Columbia, we did. Unfortunately, we crashed as we were walking up to Claimer. So that was pretty sad. Oh, you can kill the goats now without crashing? That's amazing. That's a good fix. That's definitely something that needed to be fixed. Definitely glad they focused on that one. Because that was pretty bad. Nice dynamic. That's awesome. Because I haven't been enjoying it, Ryder. And I am always big on streaming what I enjoy so that you guys have an enjoyable experience to watch. And since I haven't been having fun with bears, I haven't been streaming bears. I've still been grinding them off stream. Like maybe every other day I'll kill like a hundred bears. But I haven't been streaming it because it's just not a fun grind for me. Uh, yeah, Maddie, they should be. Mrs. Crow is in the chat. Y'all better behave. Oh, really, Archie? I've been crashing at least twice a day. Hopefully that'll be fixed now, though. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see, Cian. Oh, that's crazy, Emerson. That's crazy, dude. I haven't really been, like, keeping track on, like, what we average. That's pretty crazy to think about, though. Okay, so I think this level 9 should still be here. I killed a few level 9s last night, but... I don't think this guy would have moved to any other places, although... I guess maybe he could have. Hey, Keaton, how's it going? Oh, definitely, Chase. They definitely start slow in most cases. Until you've, like, cultivated your herds to a point where things are working out really well, like I've got it, it definitely starts out very slow. My first 300 kills were extremely slow. There he is. Okay, so this is the legendary that we lost uh, last time. We couldn't figure out where he went. He wouldn't come back to his zone. Uh, so we're going to try and take him out today. On super rare occasions, Flip. Alright, so. Let's see the distance. He is 244. Let's get this guy down. There we go. 
So this time we won't have to chase him for three miles. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Another legendary. Double legendary. Do I stream? Um, yeah. I do stream, I, I think. Oh, never mind that you weren't asking me. Uh, no, she doesn't stream. Nice, Vito. That's awesome, dude. I know hacks. Oh my gosh, Mr. Scarecrow. You're such a hacker. Two level nines. Two level nines side by side. Yeah, I know, Tom. They are. Those guaranteed trolls are rough, man. Hey, Wolfie, how's it going? Killed four diamonds last night. Every one of them was a different rack. Nice, Tragic. That's awesome. It's always nice when you get the variety like that. <laughs> oh, man. How many diamonds on stream? Uh, Should be number two right here. Provided he makes it. Thank you, Wolfie. I'm glad you enjoy them. And yeah, I've been doing pretty good. Been uh, doing pretty good recently. 252.30. That is a diamond. Alright, so two diamonds on the day. One troll. Not bad. We're uh, starting off strong. You. Why are you a thing, sir? Explain. Why are you a thing? I still don't understand how these can be legendaries. Just doesn't make sense. Should be an 8, but they show up as a 9. I know, right, Easton? Me too. Alright, well, I better update on my notepad how many we've got now. Wow, that was my 60th troll, Red Deer, of all of the grinds that we've done. Crazy. Out of 8,400 kills, we have had a total of 60 trolls. That is just sad. 60 trolls. <laughs> That's almost a troll every 100. That's like just under one troll per 100. So like what? Every 105 kills roughly we get a troll? That is just sad. Um, doesn't look like there's anything here. Starting to think we don't necessarily need to check this zone as often. They don't really seem to be coming back here consistently. Um, let's main menu real quick and then we'll continue the run. What gun am I using? I'm actually using a few different ones. I am using the 300 for all of the non-diamond stags. I'm using the 303 to take the diamonds and rares and then I'm using the 308 for when I run out of shots in my 300 and don't want to reload So I'm actually using a few different ones Oh definitely seen definitely Um, uh, maybe Archie it's hard to say Level 7 and a level 6, so nothing big came over here. No big stags from those. Whoa, Rocket Deer, calm down. 60 hour stream is 60k. Uh, no thank you. No thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, gotcha, Johnny. Gotcha. Oh, and I'll be right back. I think I just heard a knock on the door. I will be right back, guys. Alright, uh, so I guess there was no knock at the door. I'm just hearing things apparently. It's the hacks police? Probably. They're like, oh man, this guy's getting too many diamonds. It was the great one? Probably. Would not be surprised if the great one was knocking on my door. He's like, hey man, can you like, uh, ease up on the red deer? Hey Max, how's it going, dude? The Cropo. <laughs> oh man. It was just a hot fix, uh, DRW. Just a hot fix addressing some of the crashes. Alright, later, Durky. Thanks for dropping in. There's our mail for here. Not a super big one this time around. Well, you're a seven. As much as I'd like to, I don't want to run over there. It was the Great One Black Bear. Oh yes, the Great One Black Bear. Of course. How could I have not known? I'm not going to shoot the 7, it's too far away. I don't want to waste time walking over to it. Nice, CRW. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's a big mail. Welcome back, Hudson. Yeah, Carson. Did they fix the tripod icon bug? I don't know, did they? Doesn't look like it. Seems like that's still a thing. Unless I haven't received the update yet. I might have had Call of the Wild open before the update hit. Let me see. Oh no, my download did complete. Yeah, so the, the hotfix has already gone through. Wonder why I didn't see it pop up. It says it downloaded the hotfix though. There's one. That's a nice mythical. Not bad. Very solid mythical. Well, yeah, Hypify, but I like to play the game the, may the way it was meant to be played. I'm not going to... I'm not going to just shoot a bunch of them and leave them. Because that's not how the game was intended to be played. Excuse me, sir.
Wait, it is Archie? Dude, that's insane! Congratulations, dude! That is insane, Archie! By five, he's toast and letting me and Caitlyn Hall make decisions? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. That's why I don't do super long streams. Bro starts getting crazy. Dude, that's insane, Archie. That is insane, man. That's crazy if you just got yourself a super rare. Be sure to drop some pics in Discord so I can take a look at it. Because that's crazy. I so badly want to find one. Nice, Connor. That's awesome, dude. It's always nice to see a bunch of mythicals in one area. Yeah, I think this is the last one that we need to take down, and of course it's the big one. Of course the big guy is the one that's going to be the farthest away. Nice, we got him though. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, CR, that would be a super rare. No, don't float! You silly floaters! Oh! Well, hello there, buddy! You're looking mighty fine! That's legendary number four of the day. Diamond number three, probably. Hey, Connor, you haven't missed too much. We got a few legendaries down, but uh, no super rares, no great ones, no massive diamonds. All the floaters in the world. Gotta love it. Typical Call of the Wild, floaters left and floaters right. Yeah, it looks like he's the only legendary this time. Uh, you can probably stay in one spot, Sean. The only thing you might notice is that hunting pressure might become a problem. Hey, Hypofight, how's it going? We're not stacking the diamonds today. We're just shooting them as they come. That way we can see if there's any different results doing it this way. Because, I don't know, every time we've stacked legendaries, I feel like we didn't get very good luck. I feel like we've had much better luck when we just take them as they spawn. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to take them whenever they spawn. Wait, did I miss it? Is it a diamond, Archie? 257 diamond, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, and it's a good looking one as well. Nice, dude, that's awesome. Gosh, Archie, that not only is a... That's not only a super rare, that's really big for that rack. Like, 257 is massive for the midsize rack. Congratulations, that is awesome, dude. That is amazing. I'm jealous, Archie. I'm jealous. <laughs> I've been looking for one of those. Yeah, Brycey does. Most likely this uh, legendary will score at the top of the estimate. Most likely. Uh, let's use the 303. Not really trusting the 308, honestly, at range anymore. We have had some awful luck using the uh, 308 recently. 308 has been doing terrible for some reason. From having penetration issues to shooting to the right for some reason, like... We have ran into some major issues trying to use the 308. 
Yeah, that's crazy, Archie. That is crazy. Try the M1? I could. We could try the M1. I remember last update, the M1 was shooting inaccurately as well, though. So, did they fix that? Because I know at long range, the M1 was shooting high, I believe. So, I'm curious, is it still doing that? I guess we can try it and see if it is. Because if it's uh, not shooting high anymore, then that's good. Yeah, the 8s definitely won't score higher than the Legendary. But the estimates do show higher because the estimates are generally random. Yeah, Archie, it's pretty crazy. Herd management works wonders. I can't believe it took me like two years to figure out how good it is. That's a beautiful looking stag. Oh, this is... Is this a 50-50 rack? It is! This is a 50-50 rack. Wait, that's so strange. A 50-50 rack... Of the big rack and the small rack. I don't think I've ever seen that. You can see this one's got quite a large split there. And on the other side, it's a smaller split. And then if you look uh, right at the brow tines, those little uh, stickers off of the brow tines are different looking. This is two separate antlers. 253. Yeah, this is two different antlers. 23 tines on one and 21 tine on the other. Wait. Wait a second. I think there might actually be three versions of this rack. Because there is a... There's a version that has 22 tines as well. There's 21 and 23 tines on each of these antlers. That means that there's a... Th there's a third one of this rack. So there's been three of them? And we've never known it? Because as we can see, these are two different ones, but there is 100% an antler that has 22 tines. Yeah, there's got to be three variations. I've never seen one like this. I've never seen one with 23 tines, I don't think. Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at some of my diamonds, because that is cool. Can't say I've ever seen one like that. Nice. Nice. Let me just screenshot this real quickly. That is crazy. Uh, is there any more dead? Hey, get back here. There we go. Got him down. Big male. Nice, Hypify. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's a very strange one. I kind of like it, though. I think it's still a really cool one to get. Uh, you don't necessarily have to restart at DRW, but going to the main menu does the same thing as restarting. So I would just recommend heading to the main menu after every uh, run. The only thing that that does is it gets your it gets your herds out of their spooked state. So if you've had some that are spooked off of their zone, then you can get them to go back to the zone quicker if you go to the main menu. That is the uh, primary reason that people do that. It's just to get them back to their zones and unspooked. Nice, Levi. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Uh, no, Vidy. I don't get bored with red deer. They're my favorite species. That's the reason I hunt them so much, is because I enjoy them. It's the same with, like, Silver Ridge Peaks. It's the reason I uh, hunted that map primarily for the longest time, because I liked it the most. 
And like I've said a few times during these streams, it's not just the red deer that keep me interested. It's also the search for that super rare red deer. It's the search for a big melanistic, the search for another great one. Like there's a lot of things to look forward to when I'm grinding red deer. Not to mention I've cultivated these herds into something quite special with just how fast they've been producing legendaries. Like all of that combined has made me very excited to get out onto Tiawaroa every day and grind red deer. Because it's just been a very enjoyable time for me. There's a mythical, a mythical, seven, five, four, seven. Oh, uh, we got a couple really big mythicals. That's nice. Uh, it's past their drink time though, so we got to be quick here. Uh, he is leaving, I think. Uh, I don't keep the level 9s all the time, uh, Shelb. A lot of times, I'll do that like every once in a while just to see if I get different results, but in most scenarios, I do shoot the 9s as I find them, but you do want to leave everything below level 5. I shoot 5s and above, and that's been working very good for me. Uh, some people like to shoot 4 and above, though, but I personally think that 5 and above is the way to go. Why did I stop hunting black bear? It just stopped being fun. Black bear stopped being enjoyable for me, so I've stopped streaming black bear. I'm still occasionally grinding them off stream, but because it's not something I enjoy a lot, I don't like to stream it. Because uh, when I'm streaming, I want it to be something that I'm having fun with, and black bear are just not very fun to grind. They're very inconsistent and quite frustrating at times. Uh, my my black bear in particular have been very frustrating because they're constantly moving around. They're incredibly late to their zones. Uh, they're very inconsistent. It's hard to predict where I'm even going to have black bear each run. So it just uh, stopped being fun. And I like to keep uh, I like to keep the streams to stuff that I'm having fun with because it uh, makes a much better viewing experience. Alright, let's reset the time. Hey, Gentry, I'm doing good. How have you been? Hopefully you've been doing awesome. Like, I'm... I'm sure that during the last few days, and uh, you guys can tell me if you think I'm wrong, but... I feel like it's been more enjoyable streams to watch. I feel like the last week or so, it's been more enjoyable to watch the streams because I've been having a lot of fun with them. And because of that, we've been going for like four hours at a time, which I'd never used to stream for four hours. I've just been having so much fun the last few days that I've done very long streams compared to normal. And I don't know, I feel like it shows when I'm enjoying something. And I do feel like it provides a better uh, experience for the viewers. Yeah, we could definitely do a Rev on Thule stream soon. In fact, guys, I am thinking about doing a second stream today. Because this first stream, I'm not going to be able to go on for as long as I normally would because I still have to make a thumbnail for today's video. So we're going to be ending at like a 12.30, so like an hour and a half from now. That way I can get the uh, the thumbnail made for today's video. So I'm thinking about doing a second live stream. Uh, we might do it on Rev on Tule Coast. Just to give you guys something a little bit different. Uh, to be honest, Waffleo, I'd say just run around in the northern parts of the map and... You'll get them to flush up pretty commonly. There's a lot of stuff up there in the north. I'm not sure, Widow. I think it's because they're testing it. I believe that's why they did it on PC only, was because it's uh, kind of like a, a testing thing. Hey, Keaton. So far, we've had three diamonds and one troll. Actually, I need to write down the, the next diamond real quick. 
since we just got another one, gotta keep my notepad updated. There we go. Yeah, we could definitely hunt some raccoon dogs during the second stream. Yeah, exactly, Sizek, and I think that's honestly one of the big things for me. I think one of the reasons why I don't enjoy the black bear grind is because they don't have antlers, so every bear looks the same. With the red deer grind, like, you end up seeing a lot of different racks throughout the grind, and you end up running into not only the diamonds and the great ones, but all of the rares are going to look different because they have true racks. And then you have the chance of getting some really wonky looking like giant rare mythicals and stuff. And I think that's one of the things that really keeps me interested in red deer is they've got some of the largest variety with true racks. How many rare red deer have I killed? Not a ton of them actually. So ever since the great one red deer released, I have killed around 8,400 stags and only 23 of them were rares. Well, 24 actually. Only 24 rares. And during the last 2,120 kills for this current grind, I have only seen 5 rares. 5 rares in over 2,000 kills, so my rare numbers haven't been very good. We've been finding just an absurd amount of level 9s, but the rares, that's definitely a different story for me. Definitely not having very good luck with rares. Have ever killed a great one piebald? No, I have not, unfortunately. I'd love to one of these days, but so far I have only found commons for the great one. They definitely did, Johnny. Like, rares do seem very difficult to find now. Honestly, I like it. I think it's a good thing because it makes it so it's very exciting when you find a rare. And for me, with uh, Call of the Wild, I love it when something is rare enough to the point where it's super exciting when you find it. It's the reason I love hunting for great ones. They're so rare, and when you find one, it's just such a, a crazy experience that it keeps me wanting to grind more of them. And I'm glad that rares are a little bit harder to find than they used to be for that reason. It makes it super special when you find a good rare. Oh my gosh, Carson, that's crazy, dude. That is crazy. Oh, I definitely do, Jape. I am having some unfortunate luck with the Black Bear. I think at this point I'm approaching 2,500 kills without a single Great One Black Bear showing up. But I mean, I by got clear up to like almost 6,000 Black Bear before he ended up getting his Great One, so... I am not looking forward to... All of the, uh, the future hunts for Black Bear. It's gonna take a while to get that thing, I feel. Because like I mentioned earlier, I'm still grinding them occasionally off a of stream. But not to the point that I was before. And, uh, sadly, have not really seen too many good bears recently. Alright, we're gonna fast travel away and then come back to pick up that guy once he finishes floating. Because I don't feel like having to wait for him. Let's uh, get some other stuff down while we're waiting. Nice, Carson. That's awesome, man. Congratulations on that piebald. Great one. Fallow deer or blacktail? Which would you prefer? I would definitely prefer blacktail deer. That's mainly because that's the type of deer we primarily have here in Oregon. There's blacktail deer all over and... I've just always thought it'd be really cool to see a giant non-typical blacktail deer in Call of the Wild. Because non-typical blacktail are very cool. You know, we may only have like one or two stags to shoot at this lake, but they come back here very consistently. Like I can always count on there being one stag in this group that I can shoot. Let's see if we got any random ones that have spawned over here. Doesn't look like it, thankfully. That was unfortunate when they show up behind us.
You know, next run we should probably check this. Actually, let's check it now. It's been a bit since I've gone here. I'm curious if we've had any of them just randomly move up to that lake. That's pretty lucky, Roman. That is pretty lucky. Oh, wow, Hudson. That's crazy. That's a really nice wild shiny. Yeah, the stream will be going on for another hour and 20 minutes, roughly. Just want regular non-typicals? Me too, Johnny. Me too. Oh gosh, really, DRW? That's, uh, that's unfortunate, man. I've had a couple trolls that I chased for a long time as well. I think the most notable one was my, uh, troll Lynx. It was the only legendary Lynx I had ever spotted. I spent probably an hour trying to track it down and take it with the Red Raptor Reflex site. And then, uh, when I got it down, it was a troll. One of the saddest moments I've had in a while. Because I don't hunt Lynx too often, so the fact that I had found a 9, I was super excited. And it just was crushing to see a troll. Alright, let's check this lake as well. It's been a bit since we've gone here. There could be something, but most likely not. Five hundred and fifty kills into my great one red deer grind. Have two diamonds, two trolls, two piebald mythicals. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Love to see it. All right. Doesn't look like we have anything crazy here. Um, since I don't feel like running all the way around, let's just pick up all the tracks near us and see if there's any heavy tracks. Imagine we pick up a great one track here. 180 to 210. Okay, that one's nothing special. What about this zone over here? Got a red fox troll. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Easton. Red fox are hard to find diamonds of. What time is it in my state? It's currently 11.13 a.m. One eighty to two ten. Okay, nothing special. One eighty to two ten. All right, I will be right back, guys. I'm gonna real quickly take a, a fast restroom break and then I'll be back. All right. Hold well, on, I think I got the be right back screen updated. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. I do have it updated. So I will be right back, guys.
All right, guys, we're back. Let's get uh, back into the action. We're back, Archie. That's where we went. Nice, Sammy. That's awesome. Shot a great one, Whitetail, yesterday. I'm rubbing Tuli Coast. So happy I had 10 rares, 2 trolls, 1 diamond, and about 950 total kills. Nice, Brandon. That's awesome. That is awesome, Brandon. That is a mythical. There we go. Alright, let's see. Yeah, still nothing here. I think we're going to remove that tent. This zone has had nothing good for quite a long time. So I think we're going to remove this tent and dedicate it to a better location. All right, let's see. Let's drop the 303, I think. Now that we have the M1, we should be okay. Let's uh, pick up this tripod as well. Nice, Chris, that's awesome. That is super awesome. Oh, we gotta go claim this one. Oh no, Hudson. That's unfortunate, man. I'm sorry to hear that. No, it's a floater. Ah, uh, well. Moving on, I guess. Hey, Riley. Yeah, we got ourselves three diamonds so far. Nice, Caleb. Nice. Correction. Four diamonds. And two of the uh, Troll Rack Mythicals. At least they're Mythicals and not Nines. Hey, Aru, you haven't missed a ton. We've uh, got three diamonds so far, about to take down number four. What happened to the bear grind? I uh, just wasn't enjoying it, Kazon. And if I'm not enjoying something, then it's not a very enjoyable stream to watch. So I've just been doing Red Deer instead because I've been having a lot of fun with them. I think we should be able to shoot these without spooking the nine. I think so, at least. Yep, he didn't spook, so we're good. All right, let's take him down. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Argus on. There we go. Dropped him on the spot. Oh my gosh, the hard shots, man. The hard shots are kicking in. Alright then. Not bad. Uh, Riptide, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Do you think they'll fix drink times? Red Deer always show up like two hours late, but leave on time. Parquet drink time is 6 to 10. Can't start a run till 8. I don't know, Riptide. I'm sure they'll attempt to tweak things as time goes on. As for like when it'll happen, I really have no clue. That sounds like it might be a parquet spawns issue. Because it seems fine on Tiawaroa. Okay, this is not the diamond. This should be our legendary right here. Let's uh, see if this guy is a diamond. 251.90. He is indeed. Beautiful. Love to see it. But uh, once again, thank you for the super chat, Riptide. Really appreciate it, dude. Hopefully your day has been going great. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? You made it just in time for diamond number four of the day. Let me update my uh, 
text file real quick. Yeah, we nailed it with the M1 as well, which honestly, the other one seems like it's doing pretty good. Definitely seems more consistent than uh, some of the other stuff we've used. <laughs> that one jumped right in front and uh, met its demise because of that. There we go. You know, I think killing one of the Hinds caused a new four to spawn here, like they swapped positions. Because that does happen. You'll get a deer that swap. Sometimes if you kill a female and a male, they'll swap spawn positions, and it definitely seems like that happened. I feel like we have an extra stag here. Uh, no, brown hybrid hogs are not rare. That is just a normal common. Welcome back, Straight Gas. How's it going, dude? Uh, yes, I believe Whitetail time is 8.30 across all maps. I do believe they changed it. Just got a 552.2 caribou. I don't know if that's a big diamond. I'm assuming you mean a 452, right? And yeah, that's a pretty good one. Not bad at all. I do believe that's a pretty good one. Oh no, Zandri, that's not fun, man. Is that all of them? I think it is. I think we got all of them. Now let's see if we can finally get the rest up here. We've been missing out on one or two mythicals each time because they just run before I get shots off. Uh, we'll see though. We'll see what we're able to get over here. Uh, no Winter, I'm still doing herd management. However, I'm not, uh, stacking anymore. We were doing the, uh, diamond stacking. Now we're not stacking them anymore. We're just shooting them as they come along. But, uh, still the same general methods of, uh, herd management. Alright, so it looks like it's just these two this time. Yeah, those were the only two shooters. Nice, Dylan. That's awesome, dude. Those things are cool. Absolutely love them. I'm not sure, Joni. At one point, it was fixed, and then randomly it came back. I'm not exactly sure why. It's really strange. What is diamond stacking? So basically, diamond stacking is when you spawn a level 9 on the map, and you don't shoot it. You leave it on your map and just see how many level 9s you can get on your map at once. Uh, yesterday we spent like 4 hours streaming and we managed to stack 13 level 9s. And then we shot them all at once. In hopes of getting a great one to spawn, but sadly, we didn't get any good results out of it. But that's what diamond stacking is. You're just leaving them all on your map and then shooting them back to back. Oh, it was 14? Oh, true, it was 14. But one of them was a troll. Nice, Ario, that's awesome. I still don't have one of those. I need to try and get some of the diamond duck species. I need to dedicate a little bit of more time to Revon Thule, I think. Gotta start working towards getting some of those diamonds. Uh, yeah, Lewis, you can do herd management on anything. 
it just works better with species that are very, uh, I guess highly populated and in a smaller amount of lakes. Like, I think the reason it works so good on red deer is because there's not a ton of locations they can be. They're primarily at, like, these four lakes, and then the lakes over here. And then two river locations. So with red deer, it's pretty easy to kind of do this type of a method. Because you can keep a very good idea of what's on your map, since a lot of the areas are quick to check. However, with something like, um... Leighton Whitetail, it would definitely be more difficult because they're spread out quite a lot. But it's definitely still possible. Oh, we have a six. Dude, we haven't had a shooter stag here in forever. To be honest, though, I think I might leave it for now. I don't feel like walking over there. Although, we could check this zone as well. Yeah, let's shoot it. Why not? What's my favorite elk map? I mean, both of the elk species are only on one map. So I guess it would really just be a matter of which species is my favorite. I'd say Layton's probably my favorite elk map just because I like the Roosevelt's a lot. Primarily because Roosevelt's are what we have here in Oregon. Well, didn't get him, unfortunately. Yeah, I know they drink at the starting lake. I just don't hunt it because it's uh, a little bit out of the way for me. Nice copper, nice. Favorite whitetail map? I'd say probably Rancho for me, but Revon Tuli is supposedly really good as well. Can I show you the tent setup? Uh, yeah, I can show you the tent setup. This is what we got going. Most of my tents are dedicated to the lakes up here and the river spot. And this is subject to change. I move my setup around a lot to accommodate for new zones that I'm hunting and old zones that I'm not hunting anymore. Oh, there is Levi? Maybe I need to check it then. Maybe I need to check it. I guess we'll have to see. Red deer are an elk species? They are? I've never heard anybody say that before. But then again, I haven't really looked into it before either. They're probably at different locations than before, see, and they moved a lot of stuff around on Layton. Where'd that guy go? He is tucked away. Oh well. Not going to be able to get a good angle from this tree stand. North end of the starter lake. Alright, we'll check it out. We'll see if it's worth hunting on my map. Uh, not really, Tom. It's close, but not quite. Since spear bears are an uncommon, that's not a super rare. Because a super rare is a rare diamond. So something like an albino diamond bear would be considered a super rare. Got you, Ario. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. They're related to them, but not technically an elk species. Gotcha. That makes sense. All right, let's check this out. We'll see how this lake is for me. I do have an extra tent now, so... Maybe we can drop it there? Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm aware of that, Michael, but I've found that at the point that I am now, I don't need to do that anymore. With the Red Deer, I have not done any purge runs at all. I haven't shot any of the fours and below, except for ones that get accidentally shot. And I haven't really had the need to go around and shoot the fours. And I think part of that is just because I've hunted the majority of my map now. And I've got easily like 60 or 70 level 4 and below red deer. And I think at that point it has kind of decided to just stop spawning them. And now I primarily just get 5 and above to respawn. Uh yeah, like I do uh do hunting in real life. Let's see how this uh, is for us. Now, are they on the close shore or are they on the far shore? Oh, the far shore. Oh, <laughs> I've got a legendary just chilling here. Wow, yeah, this is... Okay, why have I not been... Why have I not been hunting this? Also, hey, level two. Hey, little dude. Okay, yeah, this is actually pretty crazy. Why have I not been hunting this lake? I probably should have been hunting this all along. Oh my gosh, there's more! <laughs> Y'all were not wrong. You guys were telling the truth. There is insane amounts of red. So many of them are shooters as well. Literally like all of these are shooters for me. All of these are shooters except for that one and that one. This is nuts. It's uh, this lake right here, Lane. The starting lake near uh, Glencala. That's crazy. Okay, we definitely need to drop a tent here. And honestly, I'll probably take the tents down from this lake. Because honestly, if we need to check this, we can run from the outpost. That's pretty crazy. Now, I'm not going to be able to kill all of them before they spook, so... And I don't want to delete the zone either. I don't recognize this song. I guess this is one of the ones that I recently added, because I don't recognize this song at all. There we go. Two down. Um, where should we drop our tent? Can we see that zone from this zone? If so, that'll be the way to do it. Yeah, because that'll save on tents. The question is, will we actually be able to see them from each other? Because I don't know if we can. What made you choose level 5 and higher versus level 6? I don't know, Dalton. I think the main thing was somebody in my comments section told me that they've been shooting 5 and above and that it was working good, so I was like, you know, we might as well try 5 and above. And it's ended up working pretty well for me. I think that's literally all it was. There was just a comment that told me to try it out, so I tested it. And had insane luck. Got three diamonds? Nice, Joe. Congrats on your three diamonds, dude. Hmm, I don't know if we'll be able to do this. Yeah, I don't think I can put it here. We're going to need three tents for this location then. Oh, well, it is what it is. We will need one tent to shoot them and two recovery tents. Other than Tiaboroa, what is the best Red Deer map? I would say probably... Parquet Fernando vibe? I've been told Parquet is very good now. Uh, where's that nine? It definitely died. Question is where? And we're gonna have to put this down here. Oh gosh. 
The stampede. <laughs> Getting stampeded over here. All right, let's try to find that nine. Didn't float, thankfully. Uh, maybe puzzle. I don't remember who it was. I just remember I saw a comment under my uh, 271 Red Deer video. All right, let's add another troll to the list. My 61st troll of the entire set of Great One Red Deer grinds that we've done. The 34th troll of the current grind. All right, let's go grab some more tents. You have eight stags here? Nice, Johnny. That's a good set of stags. That is awesome. Uh, we can remove this tent probably. I don't really hunt either of the Pukimaro Lakes anymore. They're pretty much just level fours for me. Honestly, I think the reason these lakes have became mainly fours is because they were the first ones I hunted. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. I think the reason these are primarily fours is because they're the ones I hunted very heavily at the beginning. So they would have been the ones that would have got the level four respawns first. What day is this for the grind? Uh, not sure exactly, but a little bit over a week. Uh, yes, Snake, this is live. Hey, Swanee, how's it going? Hey, Hunter. Later, Jape. All right, let's uh, get back down here and drop these tents down. Where was the Troll 9 at? To the lake that we're going to right now, Tall Socks. Later, Keaton. This lake is the one that, I, that we were just at. Uh, Tall Socks, this is it. Luke, thank you for the eight months as a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Good luck on the grind. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Do you think that this lake was not checked well, or do you think these zones came after you checked it? They've probably always been here, Tom, because I actually haven't been to this lake. This is one of the lakes that I have not checked until now. Because a lot of times with a grind, I'll just find the best lakes that... Like, once I've found a bunch of lakes that I want to use, I stop looking. Until I need new lakes. And so I actually hadn't checked this location until now. Thank you, Kelly. I'm glad you enjoy. The best lake for Red Deer. Um, I would say it's not even a lake. It's actually this location right here. This has been by far my most consistent Red Deer zones on the entire map. These two zones right here. They are just incredible. Uh, yeah, I know, Danny. That rack is a guaranteed troll rack, so I just shoot it with the 300 to get it down faster. I use the 300 Magnum on pretty much every Red Deer unless it's a Diamond or a Rare. Uh, because of the fact that it kills them quicker and on a grind, uh, I try to prioritize speed over anything else. Yeah, I kind of figured, Ario. I kind of figured. Thank you, Snake. I'm glad that you enjoy them, dude. Glad that you enjoy them. Got my great one today after 1,100 kills, 20 rares, and one Mela Troll. Ooh, Lars, a Mela Troll, dude. That is unfortunate. 
Gosh, I don't know what I would do if I got a Mela Troll. I'd be happy that I got a big Mela, but I'd also be really sad that it wasn't a uh, diamond. That's pretty crazy, dude. That's pretty crazy. So I'm thinking this tent is going to need to be probably like this far away. I want to be far enough away to where everything can render in when we spawn over here. Now let's drop a tripod. And then I'll probably also drop a tree stand just in case it ends up being a better option. Because there's some situations where I want the extra elevation. Let's go ahead and drop this over here. That's actually a really good tree for a tree stand. That is a really good tree stand tree. Yeah, Michael, it's been very slow for me as well with the rares. This method is definitely not a method that's going to increase your rare count. It primarily just increases the amount of nines you see. Nice cutting wood. That's awesome, man. Uh, to be honest, it's pretty rare to get a great one with no diamonds or rares before. That's pretty lucky, dude. Level six, and that is a seven. Uh, there should be a hotfix that just came out, Daniel. I think you should be okay now. They released a hotfix this morning to address the crashing issues. So I think you should be okay now, unless you've played since the update and are still having issues. In that case, I don't know, but it should be fixed. Got a diamond Capricali on the whitetail grind right after a troll whitetail. Nice, Colton. That is awesome. The Capricali are so cool. I need to get some uh, trophies of them. Level seven. That's one of those sevens that tricks you into thinking it's a nine. That looks like an eight. Yeah, it's a mythical. There's a six. Okay, so we're starting to get slightly less males at these lakes. Or at these zones, which means they're probably at that upper lake. The lake that's right above where we are. I don't know, Dalton. I don't really know if uh, they fix that or not. What time do you start hunting red deer? I start at 7. Um, Because I feel like when I start at 6.30, they arrive at their zones later. For some reason. Oh, he stopped. Stop stopping. If you're going to stop, at least go broadside, man. <laughs> What's red to your drink time? Uh, 6.30. I started 7, though, because it gets you past the super foggy hours. And it also, like I said, seems like they get to their zones a little bit faster when you start at 7. Hey, Cornies, welcome back, dude. Got my diamond lion today. Nice, Nick. That's awesome. Sounds like all of you guys have been doing pretty good with the trophies recently. Nice, XJ Render. That's awesome. I would love to see a Mela level 7. That would be so cool. Theory that is, if you kill a rare of any kind, claim it, go back to your specific grind. I feel like you get them to spawn as rares in your grind shortly after. I don't think that's true, Lars. There's been a theory on that, but I haven't seen anything to show that that's the way it actually works. Until I see some, like, solid evidence, I don't believe that that's a thing. Because there's been many times that I have killed 
a rare in multiplayer and then done a great one grind shortly after and not got anything cool for like hundreds of kills. So I don't think that's really a thing. I'm sure there's definitely some coincidental situations that make it look like that, but I, I don't think there's any correlation to like rares in multiplayer and getting rares on your single player grinds. Two Mela level sevens, that is lucky, Austin. Melas have been so difficult to find for me. What is my opinion on the blue raspberry flavor? Blue raspberry's cool. It's not my number one flavor for anything, but it's cool. It's not bad. Welcome back, Keaton. Small mail. All right, I think it's time that we go ahead and reset the time and head to the main menu. What's my number one? I've always really liked uh, cherry flavored stuff. Cherry's always been my favorite. Nice, Elise. I mean, at least you're finding some stuff. Eventually that great one will show up. Hey, Southern Steel. You'll get one eventually. It took me until level 51 to get my first diamond, so don't feel too bad if you don't get a diamond immediately. It's uh, one of those things that takes time. The more you learn about the game, the easier it'll be to find stuff like uh, diamonds and rares. Alright, nothing here yet. So we haven't been to this lake in a bit. However, since we just changed the time, I don't know if they will be there as of now. Nice, Archie. Nice. I don't know, Johnny. I was questioning that too. I was reading that and I was like, wait a minute. What's the four for? Oh, nice cornies, nice. Watermelons are good. And I grew up in the country as well. Is a bronze bighorn sheep rare? I think that's one of the commons, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, Johnny Grape and Apple are good too. Especially Apple. Apple's a classic. Hey, now. You're a rock star, and you're on the ground. Dead. Smoked him. Great one and 270 whitetail so far. Nice, Shauna. Four trolls within 75 kills. I had a streak like that too, Eno. I had a streak for a while where I think I had like 10 trolls and only like three diamonds. It was pretty rough. And I think that was over the course of like 300 kills with like 10 trolls. <laughs> it was, uh, it was rough. Uh, possibly, Caitlin. Possibly. Oh, gotcha, little knight. Gotcha. Let's check this lake. Do we have anything here? Oh, that doesn't surprise me, pirate. Uh, male Gemsbok are very trolly. It's typically the females that make diamond easily. I only have uh, 16 tents down, Danny. 16 is the maximum amount of tents, and I've, that's exactly what I've got down right now. I move my tents around based on where I need to have them at the current moment. Anything good today? Yeah, no, we've got a few diamonds. I think we have four on the day. Four diamond red deer, two trolls. 
Uh, these guys are not even at their zone yet. That random seven over here? I haven't had a seven there in ages. I mean, guess I can't pass up that opportunity right there. Getting a stag right next to the tent. That's convenient. Much more convenient than where I usually have to go to get them. How do you make money fast? Honestly, just like we're doing right now. Shooting red deer is a great way. I mean, I shot it with the wrong gun and it still gave almost 1200 cash. Oh, a mythical over here? What? Okay, they are starting to move around a lot. Like, uh, this is very strange. Very odd to see a mythical over there. I've noticed every once in a while we just randomly get a, uh, a shooter over on this side out of nowhere. Thanks, Monkey Master. I'm glad you enjoy the stream. Been having quite a bit of fun grinding Red Deer. Uh, typically it's like five minutes, I think, Brandon. And there's uh, one very easy way to avoid getting timed out. Uh, read the rules and follow them. I've heard that, believe it or not, and this is going to blow your guys' mind. 10 out of 10 people that follow the rules don't get timed out. I know it's crazy to think about. It seems like uh, some numbers that are just impossible, but I've been told that it's true. By, uh, by a little birdie. Yeah, Zyphon, it's crazy, dude. I didn't believe it when I was told. It's crazy. Uh, not really sure, Gasper. I haven't really done too many, uh, Quattro hunts recently. I think they changed around the road here since the last time I played as well. So, sadly, I don't have too much tips I could really give you for them. What is this, guy? Is this one of the, uh, fours? I think it is. I actually don't see our shooter over here this time. Yeah, it's definitely a four. Yeah, that's the seven that we saw last run. I guess there's nothing over in this herd this time. I know, it, it's unbelievable, guys. It's absolutely unbelievable. You never would have thought about it. It's crazy. It blew my mind, too. I know, Swanee, it's crazy. All right, Hudson. Did you get the great one? Sadly, no, CJ. Sadly, no great one yet. Randomly got another shootable stag in this group. Nice level seven as well. Oh no, Anno. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry about that. Wait, I'm confused, Daniel. I'm confused. Wait, did you have a previous message up there that I missed? Oh, got you. You're talking about the, the way you start your grind. Gotcha, okay. What is this? This dude's floating in a very weird direction. I shot you from over there, man. You should be floating that way, but you know, not gonna complain. I prefer that you float this way. <laughs> that might be the weirdest floater I've ever seen. What's my biggest diamond in Call of the Wild? Well, since every species is scored a little bit different, it's kind of hard to judge biggest. 
I guess the biggest would technically be whichever one is like closest to being the most large I've seen for that species of all time. Um, oh, dude, of course I get a mythical there when I remove the tent. Of course, the second I remove the tent, a mythical spawns over there. Uh, but as I was saying, I'd say if we're going for like just the biggest when it comes to of its species, probably my 271 diamond red deer. That thing is abnormally large for a red deer. It never fails, guys. I always get one to spawn wherever I've taken the tent down. <laughs> How did that not alert him? That landed right next to his feet. All right, I'm convinced that he is deaf. And now he really is deaf because I just shot him in the ear. Well, he's not gonna die anytime soon. That's unfortunate. That was such a strange little deer. He just didn't even notice that we were shooting 22 shots next to him. And we got a floater. Well, I guess we're going to be revisiting this lake later to claim those. Ooh, when am I going to add this into my rotation? Like, normally I'd go from Pukimaro to this zone, but now I'm going to have to go from Pukimaro to this one. Yeah, I guess we'll have to do it that way. Nice, Logan. That's crazy, man. That's awesome to hear. Uh, go for it, Winter. Go for it. I think that's one that we can take down. Kind of hard to see, though. How do you become a member? There should be a blue join button next to the subscribe button. I believe the only place that won't show up is on iOS devices. For some reason, there's no join button on the iOS devi devices. All right, let's get this guy to move. That did not alert him either. Got some really weird acting red deer today that just don't seem to be spooked at all by anything. Sorry, buddy. Oh, we got him. Nice. We actually got the vitals. Down he goes. Oh, we got the hind instead. Now we're lagging a little bit, which isn't a good sign. Oh, he turned. Okay, we might need to adjust the way we uh, take on this zone. I think we might be too close because they're spooking quite fast. Sometimes being a little bit further away will cause them to spook slower, so... I might need to change the spot where we have our tent. I'm not sure, Winter. I'm not really too familiar with pumpkins. Not really familiar with like what they weigh at least I've only seen like small pumpkins for like Halloween oh got you Gabriel that makes sense then that makes sense that does sound like something Apple would do
Well, I appreciate that, Caleb. We've got only like 25 or 30 minutes left anyway. I'm hoping we can see some results with these uh, herds. I'm hoping we can just have a super rare show up. That'd be awesome. Got a troll level five mule deer yesterday. Nice, Kelly. Unfortunate it trolled, but at least you found something big. I like how this guy's running over this way. That's nice. Uh, to be honest, I have no clue, Winter. I wouldn't even know what number to throw out. If a super rare shows up, will the red deer grind be over? I'm not sure. It depends on what it is, I guess. I'll probably still be grinding for a third great one. But, um... Getting a super rare will definitely be nice. Because it is one of the things I'd love to get out of this grind. What do you do if you have over 15 male fours or less for red deer? Uh, I don't do anything, monkey. I keep them all. I have a couple zones that are literally like 20 level fours. And you want there to be lots of fours with this grind. I feel like a massive amount of fours and below is what causes the others to spawn big. So I would really recommend uh, just don't shoot any of the four and below. I have a couple lakes that are literally just fours. Um, Upper Pukimaro Lake, we have around 20 level fours just between all these zones. At Lower Pukimaro, we've got probably 15 level fours. And then up at this lake, there's like seven level fours. Like a lot of these lakes I've stopped hunting because they're all fours and I'm just dedicating my time to the rest of the lakes. Whenever you start getting lots of fours, just find new locations with different herds and start hunting those. Oh, wow, Jessica. I bet that was nice to get the uh, diamond after having a troll. Always feels good to get that redemption. Got a six. We got a six. Seeing a lot of small ones all of a sudden. I wonder if we're going to get something big. I heard a few people saying that uh, they found nothing but small males right before a great one black bear showed up. So maybe... I believe it was I Buy Premium said that he was getting tons of giants and then one run before his great one black bear showed up, everything was like level four and five. Obviously it could just be a coincidence, but hopefully we got a great one close because that's only two shooters at this lake, which is rare or this zone, I guess. Uh, no, Joe, I didn't. I, uh, have kind of put the grind on pause because it was getting... It just wasn't enjoyable. I didn't have fun with the Black Bear grind. Uh, Psycho Death Star, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing good today. Uh, none of those are ones we can take down. Was gonna do another great one grind, but can't decide if I should do White Tail or Red Deer, so what do you think I should do and what map? Hmm, I mean, I obviously would recommend Tiawaroa Red Deer, but if you would rather do Revon Tuli Whitetail, that's also a really good option. But I'd say Tiawaroa Red Deer. It seems to be one of the more fun Great One grinds. Yeah, we haven't had like a giant here in a while now. It's been like two runs of nothing huge. Really unfortunate, but maybe there'll be something crazy showing up soon. I don't know. Seems like it could be a possibility. On the bright side though, there's a lot of good stags here. They're just not mythicals or nines. But there's quite a few on that zone at least. Nice, Wapiti. Hey, 
Hey, don't float. No, no, no. We don't float here. That, that is not what we do. No, come back. You silly red deer. 205? Like, even that one was a small seven. 214? Not bad. That's a pretty good size seven. It's just so strange. We had so many giants for so many runs in a row, and now there's a bunch of small ones. Nice, Keaton. Nice. Best map for money? I'd say Tiaburo is now. Tiaburo is definitely the best map for money. Uh, SRP is a close one, a close second though. Revon Tuli can be pretty good as well with some of the duck and goose species. Lots of sixes, but no mythicals or nines. I this is odd. This is really strange. I feel like something crazy is about to happen. It, I just have a feeling. Oh, hey there, buddy. Where did you come from, sir? Well, that's the first mythical this run. Love to see it. Uh, Super Chats should be from that little uh, dollar sign under the chat box. If you don't see that, then it might not be available on your uh, platform. Because some apps or uh, some platforms don't allow you to. Yeah, I think that's the last one. He's floating. We'll come get him later. We'll get the floater later. Maybe, Nate. I hope so. Hey, that guy's a four. No shooters have respawned at this lake. Now, it is possible that because we've only been like an hour into this run, maybe some of them just haven't showed up at that other location. That could be it, but I don't know. Uh, it just got fixed, young. It just got fixed. Supposedly, the update that they did this morning was to fix the goat crashes, along with some of the other crashes. Imagine if we got a great one at, like, one of the lakes that I only have one shooter stag at. That would be kind of wild. I feel like that's how it's gonna be. We're gonna have him show up at a place where I normally don't see much. I think we need to check this lake now as well. I feel like that might be where some of our stags are going. A lot of time when I notice that some of my zones are drying up, it's usually because this one is starting to get some more stags. And we might need to check this lake as well. This could be getting some stags as well. Definitely could be. Um, no, Crimson, it doesn't really matter if you harvest them, but I recommend harvesting because you lose out on a lot of cash if you don't harvest them. And from my experience, I'd say that they probably show up quicker. Like your respawns probably get to your zones quicker if you do harvest them. I've been told that by a lot of, by quite a few people. Do you stack nines? Uh, we stacked nines yesterday. We're not doing it today, though. Hey, Thunder, how's it going? Hey, CJO. Hope you've been doing well. Hope you've both been doing good. Mythical and a six. Okay, so a couple did show up here. And one of them is a mythical. Hey, Benjamin, how's it going, dude? Hey, Ola. Hey, Wapiti. 
I'm not sure if I said hi or not. I think I saw you in the chat earlier, but I can't remember if I said hi. Just got diamond number one of my great one red deer grind. Nice, Tyler. Nice. Crashway less now. Nice, Royal. Nice. That's good. That's really good to hear. I had been told that it was a lot of crash fixes, so it's nice to hear that you're uh, not crashing as much now. I think it is just two stags of this zone. Or no. Maybe. No, it's definitely a third. 210 to 240. So there's another big boy here. Definitely isn't him. Oh yeah, so there's one that we missed. The question is, where is he? It looks like a lot of our big stags were just at different lakes. Just hiding from us. Uh, yeah, Gavin, it does. You might have to make some tweaks for Whitetail as well, because they're spread out throughout the map more. But it should work. Psycho, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Shot my great one at the lake you're at. Oh, really, dude? Nice. Nice. Hopefully we can find one here. Um, it's like the security code, uh, Winter. Should be on the back. What do you do if your zones are f just filled with females? Um, hunt different zones. That's really all you can do. Just hunt different zones. Uh, Reed, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. 400 kills into my great one grind. Got 10 diamonds. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Hey, Ben, how's it going, man? Okay, let's see if we can find a disturbed vegetation from this stag. I want to see if it's a rare, at least. Curious where this guy has gone off to. Okay, there's a disturbed vegetation. Let's see what it is. Imagine if this is going to be the rare that we find. Just a random one that we didn't even get to see. Dark brown. Okay, so it's not a rare. Uh, I guess we'll find him later. I just saw him. I just saw him. That actually looked like it might have been a diamond, I think. That looked like a possible level 9. Nice, I know. Nice. Ah, eh, we'll come get this guy later when he's actually not spooked. Winterwolf, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you, my dude. Really appreciate it. Super kind of you. Level 9 Red Deer spotted. Uh, nice, Marta. Nice. Congrats on that level 9. I think we just have a level 6 over here last time. Alright, not seeing anything immediately there. What's the best reserve to hunt? I mean, best reserve's gonna greatly depend on what you like the most, I guess. Anon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Very kind of you. What trophy lodge do you want to come next? Ooh, I'd like to see... I'd kind of like to see a Silver Ridge Peak themed lodge. I think that would be cool. I think that would be pretty awesome. But uh, once again, thanks for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it. There's a four over there. Best reserve to get money? 
Probably Tiabaroa now, just because of the red deer. Uh, Revon Tuli is also good, and so is Silver Ridge Peaks. All very solid maps for uh, making money. Uh, Winterwolf, thank you for another super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. But the pumpkin grew a 750 pound one last year. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Gosh, that is massive. That's crazy, man. And thank you for the super chat once again. Yeah, true. A Tiawara Old Lodge would look really nice as well. That would look pretty cool. How many diamonds have I got after the second great one? Let's see. Uh, 83. We have 83 diamonds in the last 2100 kills. That's like a diamond every 50 kills, roughly. Which is insane. How many diamonds have I... Okay, I already read that. Um, best map to hunt moose. Probably Rev on Tuli Coast. Or Medved. Rev on Tuli and Medved are really good for moose. Tons of them on both those maps. There's a big boy. Nice level seven. Welcome back, CJO. Let's see if it's just that seven over here still. Yeah, still just the seven and the four. Um, I think you can adjust it, Brandon. Though I think it is like an in increments of five or an in increments of two. I, I know it's a, they do have increments for it, like for example, I don't think you could donate like, or actually no, you can do, you can do custom amounts. I think you just have to click on the, uh, the amount and then you can type in whatever you want. I believe that's how it works at least. That's how I remember it at least. Swanee, thank you for the 16 months as a member. Welcome back. That's crazy that it's been 16 months already. That, that's just insane. Oh, uh, we just came from there, uh, Take Me Outdoors. We just hunted that lake recently. Wait a second. There's just a random... Oh, that was the floater. We need to go get that. I uh, know the M1s always had the same name. They haven't changed it. It's always been the, like, Awaniak or whatever. Yeah, the M1 Iwaniak Reserve. It's always been that. Just everybody's always called it the M1 Garand. Since that's, uh, really what it is. Where is that stag? It's over here, right? Yeah, there it is. Still nothing over there. Yeah, CGO, I love the floater emoji. Archie absolutely nailed it with that one. We might have to head to the main menu. Hello, little level two. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, we need to go main menu. Uh, Winterwolf, thank you for the super chat again. My pumpkin is small. World record is 2,700 pounds. Jeez. I mean, but 750 pounds is still bigger than any pumpkin that I've seen. Thank you for the super chat once again, man. Definitely, Caitlin. Archie's emotes are awesome.
Wait, really, Johnny? That'd be crazy if you did. Uh, yeah, love dunks. It is acting strange for me as well. I've had a lot of issues with the 308. I've messed up like three diamonds from it hitting to the right. It's definitely been a strange thing to see it be uh, so inaccurate. Uh, Cannon, thank you for another super chat. My gosh, guys, just going crazy today. Got a 272 red deer last night thanks to your tips. Also lots of rares, so thank you. Nice, dude, that's awesome. 272 is huge. That's bigger than any, any of them that I've killed. My best is a 271, so 272 is crazy. Absolutely absurdly large. I think we got all of those vitally. Uh, because it was too far away dynamic. It would have taken too much time to collect it, so it's not worth me hunting that one. Uh, time is money when it comes to a great one grind, so I try to only hunt the ones that I can claim quickly. And unfortunately, floaters are not something I can claim quickly, and these guys decide to float. Love it. Gotta love it. Come on, let me get out there. No! Ah, uh, let's go get the other one while we're waiting. There he is, there's the other one. Uh, nobody knows, uh, young crab legs. True racks are one of those things where they have such a large amount of randomization that there really is no way to know what the max score could possibly be. I'm sure there is a max score, but since it's a random generated system, I'm sure that we'll never actually see a max score one be killed. And we will go back and claim those two soon. I'm just going to wait for them to... Oh, there we go. Legendary. Finally, another legendary. There we go. This is what? Legendary 5? I believe this is legendary number 5 of the day and it is a guaranteed diamond. Or no, this is legendary 6, diamond number 5. Can we get the rest of these? go down not quick but it'll go down ah we hit the wrong one no okay we got that guy though think you messed up the nine uh maybe dynamic I don't think so though it looked fine to me. Maybe we were too far left, but it looked okay. Yeah, he's right there. We're good. Wait, gl wait, what about what glinted? <laughs> What, why are you guys saying glinted? Am I- did I miss something? I must have missed something. Seven, seven, seven. Okay, some of the big ones are showing up again. We're getting more big ones this run. Yeah, it should be fine, dynamic. Medium bleed rate should be okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's a diamond 266 max weight. Wow. Second max weight of today. That's a good one. Yeah, it was a single lung, so that's why it ran a little bit farther. Yeah, 
Can't even fit the entire rack in there. That's a good one. Not bad. Yeah, see, I told you guys, there's definitely a... Wow, there, so there's an antler that has 21, 22, and 23 tines. So that means there technically is three racks that look the same. That have just minor differences. Like, this one doesn't have any splits on the brow tines. But the 21 and 23 tine antlers do have splits on the brow tines. And then they have different size of splits up at the, up at the tops. And also they have different amounts of mass on the antlers. That's cool. That's really cool. Very cool to see. Yeah, me too, CJO. Or at least allowed us to like zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Would definitely be cool. Oh, got you, Thunder. They probably thought I was Flinter. Because uh, Glinted is a typo of Flinter's name. Imagine one of these days I'm just quickly bouncing back and forth between targets. Accidentally drop a 300 round into a 10 fabled. Hopefully you get it soon, Michael. Hopefully you get it soon. Yeah, 268 is pretty big, Darth. I'd say any stag above 267 is getting into the pretty large realm. And then if you get a 270 plus, it's a giant. Nice dynamic. The tripods are definitely worth it. They are definitely worth the investment. Two oh seven, and then we got a couple floaters. Sadly, love it. Love to see the floaters. Not really, but you know, we just deal with them. Yeah, I don't like it either, Eno. I'm not a fan that there is a 100% troll rack. If it was just on 8s and not on 9s, it would be fine. And uh, honestly, if it had a chance at making diamond, then I wouldn't mind it either. To be honest, I think it's kind of a cool looking rack. It's just the fact that it's always 10 points below diamond that's just so sad. Alright, we will check one more lake. And then we will head over to... Or not head over, but we'll check one more lake and then we'll end it there. As I do need to get the thumbnail made for today's video. And today's video has got a pretty special trophy in it. So you guys will definitely want to stay tuned for that. Shot a max score red deer. Nice lane. There's technically no max score for them, but I'm assuming you meant max weight. Six. Um, anything else? Just a six. Yeah, my red deer are definitely acting a little bit strange. Makes me wonder if we will get a great one soon. Seems like everything always acts so weird when there's a great one near. Cannon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you for that. Hope you've been doing good. Alright, guys. We're going to call it there. Stay tuned for the video in 30 minutes. It's going to be a good one. A little bit shorter video than normal. I think it's only like 10 minutes long, but it's got some pretty cool trophies. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate each and every one of you dropping by the streams. This has been a good time. I might do a second stream today, so stay uh, on the lookout for that in case I do. Um, if I do a second stream, then we'll probably do a little bit of Revel on Thule Coast. But we'll see. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!